flathead fishing. Well, we're in toward the end of July, beginning of August. Flathead uh, everywhere, and uh, this week we probably had about seven or eight posts that have just had one of the posts had 90 comments in relation to how do we catch flathead on soft plastic. So I thought I'd come down here, give a quick rundown on what I do. Sorry for thumping, I'll try not to do that again. And um, show you some of the soft plastics and the jig heads that I use. And run you through some of the gear that I use. So let's have a look at that. This is my soft plastics tray. The jig heads firstly, there's three jig heads I use. These ones here, you'll see them. They're a, uh, it's called a headlock. That's a one sixth, I use one sixth one quarter and three eight. The reason I've got those three sizes depends on the weather. If the weather's bad, it's poor, I'll go up to the three eight size. So you've got a lot of wind, you want to cast into the wind, or you want to make sure you get down there two to three or four or five meters, whatever it is you're fishing in, the three eight will do it for you. As the weather gets better, and in most cases it will be, the one sixth or one quarter will be fine. They're the two main ones. The one six I use when it's glassed out conditions like today, it's just perfect today. So one six was, is fine. Um, this is a two o, a two o. I use one o's and two o's. The one o's for the shorter soft plastics and the two o's for the longer soft plastics. Majority of my soft plastics are three inch, three and a half inch, four inch soft plastics. Um, I won't go through brands. It doesn't really matter the brands, but that one there is a good one, curly tail, that's a three and a half inch I think. Yep, three and a half inch uh, grub from Z-Man. That works beautifully, that's probably my go-to. Um, that one and it's equivalent in the paddle tail. So that's the colour in the paddle tail. I really like the white on the flathead this time of year. Uh, pink's also an excellent colour. Uh, this one's from Envy Baits. Those ones there work really, really well, especially on the sole. The soles seem to love them for whatever reason, or flounder, whatever you want to call them. These are slightly shorter. These are your two and a half inch. I use these when I'm searching for fish, so you'll catch brim on these as well. The two and a half inch work pretty well. The other one I like is the gulp. The trouble with the gulp is the fluid in here, once you open the pack, it's really hard to keep them and the fluid and keep them nice. What I do is I have a little container with a good seal on it. I'll tip all the fluid from this when I open it into this container and all of these will go in here. This also gets my uh, the soft plastics that I use a bit. I'll put back in here as you can see there and that helps preserve all the soft plastics but particularly the gulps. S factor. I've got about three or four tubes of this always on the go. This one's just about done. I'm getting my last cent out, cents worth out of it. And you can see here that's uh, squeezed up. It's probably another two sessions in that, believe it or not. So make sure you get your money's worth out of that. I truly believe in this stuff. Not so much that it attracts the fish, but it takes the, the human scent. So anytime you might have something on your hands like fly spray, deodorant, or fuel, that'll take that scent away from it and give it a more natural scent. Really like the S Factor. Now, when you do find a patch of flathead, this weekend there's been a lot of people posting that they've caught 20 fish. When you're catching 20 fish, when you're catching fish after fish after fish, upsize. Throw on your 3.8, go to your 12 pound braid and your 20 pound leader, and go to your 12 pound braid and 20 pound leader and upsize to your bigger lures. Like this one. Now, I don't know what size that is, probably a seven inch. That one there looks way too big for a flathead, but I'll tell you, the amount of 40 centimeter flathead I've caught on these sort of things, you would be amazed. But it's these ones that will attract your big girls. As they're swimming through, those big girls where all the males are sitting around, they're gonna be more drawn to a bait this size than the little three and three and a half inch baits just running out catching those 40s, 50s and 55s. So don't be afraid to upsize. You may have seen a few of my videos. If you have seen a few of my videos, you'll know that I'm quite a fan of hard bodies. I fish everything from this size hard body. Get my part. So that's a um, uh, Rapala X-Wrap. 
um, a very very good lure these are the sort of lures you troll out, out uh, in the bay for mackerel uh, Taylor love them but flathead also love them and that size lure will catch everything from 40 centimeter fish right up to your big girls nice bright vibes flathead absolutely love the vibes at the end of the day flathead will eat a shoelace there are fish that don't really care what's put in front of them if it's annoying them or if it's they see it as food they'll eat it so vibe soft plastics hard bodies they all work soft plastics probably work a little better because they present themselves a little more naturally but vibes a very very good alternative when you're having a hard day on soft plastics hard bodies that just leaves us with the rod and the reel that i use um, any rod and reel will catch flathead absolutely anything you go down to kmart and you buy a 27 dollar rod reel combo for your kid that'll catch flathead i promise this one here costs a little bit more $60 rod $70 rod it's a uh, Shimano classic uh, I think it's a Starlo classic yep a Starlo classic it's two to, rated two to five kilo but you don't it it doesn't need to be two to five kilo one to three two to four two to five I use a two to five because I like throwing the bigger jig heads um, if you're not into the bigger jig heads and the bigger baits and you just want to catch table fish you can go a lot lighter than this the real size, anything from a 1,000 up to 2,500, if you're holding any more than that, you're just holding weight you don't need to hold. When you're casting up to two or 300 casts a day, the lighter your outfit, the more comfortable you're going to be when you get home later on that day. So keep it light. Make sure you've got a good smooth drag on your reel. It doesn't have to be an expensive reel. Not that this is that expensive, it's only a couple hundred dollars. But um, you can go a lot cheaper, you can go right down to $60. Just make sure you've got a nice smooth drag. Leaders leaders will range for me if I'm just fishing for table fish or trying to find fish it'll be between six pound and eight pound leader a fluorocarbon leader I use about a meter and a half and um, if I'm going to throw my bigger soft plastics with the 3.8 jig head I'll go up to between a 14 and 20 pound leader if you've got something out of this video hit the like button if you haven't already please subscribe helps me no end feeds my ego and I'll see you next time